For being asked to compute the following limit, the first thing you should do when computing limits is take your value of c here and evaluate this at c and see what happens. So if we plug in 0 for x, we get the tangent of 0 over the natural log of 1. The tangent of 0 is 0, and the natural log of 1 is also 0. So this is what's called an indeterminate form. So we can use L'Hopital's in this problem. So whenever you have 0 over 0, you can use L'Hopital's rule. So solution. So this is the limit as x approaches 0. And L'Hopital's just says that whenever we have a form like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, we just take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. So here we're going to get secant squared 3x times the derivative of the inside via the chain rule. So 3. Right, so it's the derivative of the outside, which is secant squared, evaluated at the inside, times the derivative of the inside. In the denominator, we have the natural log of 1 plus x. Well, the derivative of ln x is just 1 over x. So here it's 1 over 1 plus x times the derivative of the inside piece. Again, the chain rule, so 1. Let's keep going. This is equal to the limit as x approaches 0. Let's rewrite this. This is uh, 3. Secant is 1 over cosine, so this is 1 over cosine squared 3x. That's what we have in the numerator. And in the denominator, we have 1 over 1 plus x. You can just plug in 0 here. Um, let's just go ahead and clean it up first. Let's clean this up first. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of 3 over cosine squared 3x. And all of this is being divided by 1 over 1 plus x. So this is the limit. As x approaches 0, well, it's this. So 3 over cosine squared 3x divided by this thing here. So we're dividing. So that means division. So when you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal. So this is 1 plus x over 1. Let's go ahead and plug in 0 now. We could have done it way up here. Uh, I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> so this is 3. And then here we get 1 plus 0. So 1 plus 0. On the bottom, we get cosine squared of 0, which is 1. Right? Cosine of 0 was 1, so 1 squared is 1. And we get 1. So we just end up with uh, 3. So that's the final answer.